Murdoch Fraser destroys Halfwit Harvey. I'm going to show you a clip of the unelected and unelectable Halfwit Patrick Harvey, who is being torn a new one by Murdoch Fraser in Holyrood. They were discussing policies such as rent freezes, for, exa for example, which have been a complete and utter disaster. And Murdoch Fraser does not mix his words when telling Harvey what he thinks of him. That is simply not true. The Minister hasn't done his homework, he hasn't engaged with stakeholders, he hasn't listened to those of an interest in this particular field. If he had, he would know he is talking balderdash in this chamber. It is not true. It is not true that properties are not being held back. All he has to do is pick up the phone to the Church of Scotland or any other church and he will hear the truth. He needs to start doing the work as a minister and stop being so lazy, presiding officer. Shocking. For a second, I thought Patrick Harvey was going to burst into tears and the fact is that he is lazy. He doesn't seem to do anything. What is his job? I don't care what his ministerial title is, he hasn't earned that, the people didn't give him that, and he is not entitled to that. If ministers, I use the term loosely, can simply be given jobs, and politicians can be given jobs, purely by not being voted in, but just because the first minister, or the prime minister, say in the UK's case, decides that they should have one, then what's the point in holding elections? This in Scotland now is not is no longer, sorry, a democratically elected chamber. It simply has people in it that aren't even elected just to prop up a corrupt SNP devolved administration. And quite frankly, people should be very worried if they have the power to do this kind of thing. Because without it, the people's votes would have counted and the SNP have struggled to get anything through Holyrood. Let alone try and push for another pretendy ref.